Recycling containers have become commonplace on streets and in homes. Millions of pounds of material has been removed from trash bins and put to better use. The next step in recycling is to remove food scraps from garbage cans and disposals and put them to more productive use. Gardeners show us recycling foods is not only beneficial, but easier than we may think. I've been doing backyard composting for probably about 20 years now, mostly including just yard waste and leaves and, and grass clippings, but I've really kind of changed the method and I've started including uh, food scraps. And again, I collect things like coffee grinds. Those are great to compost. We had asparagus last night and cut the ends down. Those went in my compost bin. The food scraps balance out the grass and your leaves, um, and it's a nice complement to to what you're already doing. I mean, it can be it just it's easy to do. Uh, we have a grinder in our in our sink. Um, I'm amazed at how little we use it anymore. In our house, we have a, a food pail, a plastic pail that, as we are cooking or preparing food, we put uh, the uh, vegetables. Uh, they're uh, either like such as the apple cores or the peels, as well as the breads, uh, grains, um, those types of items. We put them in a food pail, which we have under the sink. And generally, every other day or so, that then is brought out to the compost bin. I'd say approximately uh, maybe 20 pounds on average a week, so 10 to 20 pounds of food waste that we do bring and put into our compost bin on a weekly basis. And it is good to you know, possibly mix it with some already finished compost or a little bit of soil just to make sure there's a, a bacterial source there that with the food waste initially. And over time, that uh, the bacteria or the microbes within the food waste uh, begins breaking it down and over a period of time through the decomposition process, it turns into a mulch that, or a uh, compost that is usable as a soil amendment. Composting is, is simply a decomposition process that is a natural uh, to organic materials. Um, and food scraps can help blend in with the other materials like your grass and your leaves, trimming other trimmings from your yard, and it speed up that process to, to create a, a finished compost in about six to eight weeks. Well, the Earth Machine compost bin is black. Uh, that does help to absorb uh, the heat from the sun, especially in the summer, and that does help for the microbes or the bacteria to become more active as it becomes warmer, and it does speed up the process of decomposition. I uh, take the compost and I put it in the garden. I also use it as mulch around my landscape plants. Uh, sometimes if I have a more of a decorative mulch, I will, re re will remove that mulch and put the compost underneath that and even try to work it in the soil and then put the mulch on top. As a typical composter generates a nutrient-rich product that's a plus. You know, if you have a garden, it's a positive to be able to use that to fertilize or, or enrich your soil. But for this product, for, uh, for, our, for us, for our family, we don't have a big need for compost. Uh, well, the solar cone is uh, a device that's intended to accept uh, food waste uh, from your typical household use, uh, food scraps after dinner, things that most families maybe would put in the garbage disposal or in uh, their trash can. So it's intended to uh, take those out of the waste stream and return them to the ground uh, through a process of uh, kind of decomposition. Um, so it's nice to be able to uh, put your food waste in and, and let it do its thing. And that's kind of all you have to do, very simple. And what it does is it actually takes food waste, any and all food waste, and it absorbs it uh, completely into the surrounding soil. It digests it without creating any type of compost. So it's similar to a composter, uh, but works in an entirely different manner. The nice thing about the green cone is that you can put any type of food in it. You can put uh, even things that you would consider uh, to be unacceptable in most composters, like meat, dairy, fried foods, prepared foods, any type of food waste can go into the green cone. The green cone is great for a person who isn't a composting person. If they don't have the time to invest in composting, uh, don't want to put that level of dedication in, they can still divert the food from the landfill by putting the food waste in the green cone. It's easy to use. They just have to put their food scraps in the cone and they can walk away. Why not recycle your food scraps?